I'm so tap tap, but I want to show you how to do a quick little trick in Cyber Dimension Neptunia that, at least on the current patched version, which is 1.01, 1 .01, um, you can pretty much break out of bounds on uh, certain levels with a pretty simple little trick. It's hard to do on accident, but basically what we want to do is we want to... Oh, my skills aren't quite set up right. What we want to do is have a level 2 magic, which is one of the ones that casts a big circle with like five shots. So after you cast the shot, you sort of pause in the air, and you can jump again while you do that. So you just keep doing it as long as you have SP. And what we can do is in certain levels, we can jump over the... Um, and there's the boss in the distance. We can jump over certain invisible walls. Um, most of the invisible walls are pretty well put together in this game. There we go. So, uh-oh. I'm not sure if I'm going to land on anything. Okay, there we go. Oh, I sort of landed on something. <laughs> so this, this trick is pretty fun because you get to see kind of how the level was uh, put together. Because, you know, we're obviously never supposed to see all of this garbage over here. So, there we go. Um, it helps to have a lot of SP, so it's easiest to do this game, this later on in the game when we have, you know, I use like 200 SP there. So early on, you might not even have that much. Um, yeah, this there's a couple minor shortcuts you can get with this. It's not really very useful in terms of uh, breaking the levels, and uh, it's fairly hard to do on accident. So I'm not sure if they're gonna patch it or not. But uh, for sure, you can do it on the unpatched um, version if you, you know, were to delete and reinstall and not update it. Um, you can do the trick in any area, but some invisible walls are better than others. This area is very easy to get out with a fairly minimal SP. I've seen people basically do a moon jump and, like, go all the way to the top of the very first area and get out. But uh, this is the easiest place I've found to do it. And... Um, if you're going to practice it, I would suggest trying it here first. There's some areas with ceilings, and I don't think you can get out of those, because you will just stop at the ceiling. But, um... You know, it doesn't have much practical value, because, I mean... Like, the, probably the coolest, like, the, the most exploity thing you could do is get in or out of a boss fight, like I'm trying to do here. Oh, it also can help to uh, have... up. Oh, apparently... Uh, there's a few situations where it stops working. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, if you, I just kind of mash X and I tend to jump successfully. Sometimes, I think it's because I hit a ceiling, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes if you press other inputs, it stops working. But it's pretty reliable. As you can see, most of the invisible walls are pretty tall. I don't know exactly where all places you can do this at. Um, please do leave a comment if you found... Huh? Yeah, see, sometimes it just stops working. I don't know what I did different there. I think the timing... You... Yeah, if you do other inputs, it definitely breaks. But uh, once you get in the rhythm of it, it's very easy. Yeah, I, I really love exploring out-of-bounds areas and stuff, so this is a really cool glitch, and I kind of hope they leave it in. Uh, if you find any other cool places you can use it, uh, definitely let me know. I know you can use it somewhere in the first map with the doggoos and stuff, but... Uh-oh. But I don't know where, because the video I saw just started the video in the air, like a thousand feet in the air, and falling and just landing in, you know, the out-of-bounds area. But yeah, as far as glitches go, um, like, worst case, you might have to teleport out or, you know, reset your console if you don't have the ability to get out because, you know, you don't have any items. But you can just use, um, let me show you, just for anybody who totally doesn't know what they're doing in this game but somehow imported it. Uh, you can just use one of these scrolls to get out. It's basically the escape button for the other games, and you can just get out. It's weird because some stuff has level geometry and some stuff doesn't in here because they don't. You know, obviously, you're not supposed to be here, but it's kind of fun, and you can see the water all up close. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the trick. Um, I haven't found anything else too interesting beyond just the ability to do it, and um, you can try to run to that tree. I don't think you... I don't know how far you can get. I haven't really... 
Uh, I, I think eventually you just kind of fall into the abyss, because eventually you just stop finding ground like we just did here. And... Yeah, the game auto saves, so it's not really too big of a deal if you mess this up real bad and you need to leave, but... Fortunately, you can use the escape button in midair, so... You know, this, as long as you have one of those, it's really there's no real risk of getting stuck. But yeah, that is a pretty cool bug. Uh, let me know if you find any cool places to use it, and I'll see what else I can find myself. Uh, if you need help playing this game, by the way, I have an import guide. Just watch. Just either go to sirtab.com, you'll find it pretty quick, or um, there'll be a link in the description. I translated pretty much all the major menus. The um, a friend of mine translated all the the little item names for you. Um, and I got a little walkthrough to just sort of get you through the main story. Um, so if you're, if you're getting kind of stuck, just try that out.